Okay, so if you look at this, you have the riders going from that, going from the first, from the first tree and going down the second tree, and that has a break there in the middle. What is the break attached to? It's flawed. Bungee cord. What is a bungee cord? Something that stretches. Something that stretches. Stretchy cord. Stretchy cord. Okay, so if you think about this, if how would how would this break that you see on there? How do you suppose that would work? Well, when you hit it, the bungee cord. Wait, 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 hang on, Sarah, what was that? Uh, it goes, when you hit it, it continues with you, and then it stretches out, so then it like slows down. Okay, now look at look. What is the bungee cord attached to? The brake anchor. The brake anchor. So what we have here is it's almost like you're sliding down. You're going down. You're going down the zip line. You reach that thing, and it attaches to the pulley system, but that's attached to a bungee cord. And as you go, the bungee cord is going to stretch and going to stretch. Is there a point that the bungee cord will stop stretching? Okay, and that's kind of how it's going to slow it down. Think about a bungee cord as like a very, very strong rubber band. When you hit that, you know, it's, and when you first start, if it's, got, if it's got some slack to it, if it's got that, that uh, curve to it, it's not going to slow you down. But as it stretches out, it's going to be absorbing some energy and slowing you down and slowing you down until it can't stretch anymore and hopefully you can stop. Do you think that will stop you suddenly? Do you think it will stop it gradually? Uh, gradually. Kind of gradually, do you, you know, but it will, will eventually, will it stop you? Okay, and that's the whole point, the whole point of this break. Um, so if you look at this, you know, it, 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 you know, the break has a hole through the middle of it, and the cable goes through that hole so the break can slide along the cable, and the break is connected to the anchor with the bungee cord. And if you do that, it's gonna be able to slow it down. Okay, um, look at um, figure three. What is the difference between figure three and figure two and figure three? The bungee cord is stretched out. Bungee cord is stretched out. Okay, so the person has slid down, they've reached the break, the bungee cord is stretched out. Hopefully that'll slow them down before they actually reach the tree and slam into the trunk. That would be bad. So hopefully it's gonna be able to stop you. Um, now what would happen if, you know, if you, I'm gonna go back to my, my little uh, slack thing. So let's say this is the bungee cord, and this is where the break is. And if it was like this to start with, would it stop you faster or slower? Faster. And because it's going to stretch out, but it's already pretty stretched. What if it was like this? So then it's going to go along a little bit before it starts to stretch and slow you down. So if you have more slack, it's going to let you run further before it really engages. If you have less slack, it's going to start engaging right away. Okay. Now um, look at um, look at uh, figure number four. And this is actually titled Poor Design. <laughs> what looks bad about this zip line? It's too low. What's too low? The, well, just the, 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 and the brake. <laughs> like, yeah. the, where you brake, it's way too low. Where you brake is way too low? Yeah. Now, what, now, what do you suppose would happen if someone went down this zip line? They'd hit the brake, but then it's too low, so they just start skidding on the ground. Stop. Yeah, this looks kind of dangerous. It looks like you know you better lift your uh, lift your legs up high because it looks like you're going to go right into the ground like that. Um, so now, uh, if you look at, do you think that the, that break will do anything to break you before you reach the ground? Uh, probably not enough. Not enough to break. Yeah, by the time by the time you reach that break, you're about, you're going to hit the ground, and the break's not going to do you much good. Um, also remember that as you go down, it's like, uh, you know, if you think about, think about a zip line, if someone is hanging on the zip line, where they're at is where it's going to be pushing down, just gravity is going to pull the line down even further. Um, that looks like it doesn't have, the line itself doesn't have a whole lot of slack and it's not moving much, but you're going to move down a little bit too. Okay, so the main things to keep in, keep, keep in mind here, do you understand what slack is? Yes. Do you understand how a bungee cord works? Yes. Yes. Do you understand how the brake on a system like this might work? Yes. yes. Those are the key things to keep in mind. When it comes to what happens on the smarter balance test, I have no idea what these questions are going to be like, but the important thing is that you understand those terms and that you understand the concepts and the context in which it comes from. Does anyone have any questions at all about, about this? If you have no more questions, this performance task is done.